Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Well, hello out there in YouTube land. Well, I've got a little story for you. And the name of this video is the name of the company that the story is about. Or should I say the horror story. The story lasts for about four months. And what I'll do is I'll start putting the calendar around me here and with the dates highlighted and you can kind of follow along with what's going on. Well, as I go along, my memory is not that swift. I've got a sheet here which anytime I contact a company and I start having issues and I'm having to contact them, I start making a log of everything. Times, dates, duration of the call, reason for the call, yada, yada, yada. You get the general idea. This all started back on December the 3rd when I made my order. And I'm going to put up the order right now minus pertinent information and you can see that it was on the third and it has the sizes and it has the other information about quantities and this and that and the other so okay now on December the 5th I hadn't seen uh, the order ship I hadn't gotten any kind of a notification I normally get an email notification so I called them to find out where it was. And they were waiting on the polypropylene tops, the bottoms, and the Blavica, all in black, to ship to them. They were on back order. So they said they were holding the order until that came about. Well, I said that, uh, you know, that's kind of crazy. They said, well, we can go ahead and ship you the rest of the order. And then when the others come in, we can ship them to you. And what we'll do is we'll take the price of those items and pull it out of the regular order and only charge you for the other items. And I said, that's cool. Sounds great to me. I can live with that. Now I got a shipping notice on the 7th, which from what I could see was the wrong location, it's the wrong town. I have a ship to address and a bill to address because I'm not at the bill to address all the time, but I'm at the ship to address quite a bit of the time. So anyway, I see the bill to address city pop up and I call them up and they said let's see found out they must have the wrong shipping address on the package I was put in the customer service system on the phone when I called them and it just kept cycling back to the main menu so I would have to keep punching the customer service button to get back into customer service instead of putting you on a queue and when it becomes available you roll in you don't you just go back into the line I guess you could say and if there's other people that are still sitting there ahead of you and came in sooner they get answered before you do what so anyway I got tired of that and I hung up after about three minutes and I called the operator back, told her what was going on. She apologized. She put me through to customer service directly and locked me in on hold, I guess. So finally, I talked to the customer service rep and found out they were using the billing address instead of the ship to address on the order. And they said they would change it and get the correct address on there. And I had to give it to them because they had no clue what the ship to address was. 
It's on the order. It, that was nutty. Okay. So I'm still looking, and that's on a Wednesday. Now, back on that Saturday, I'm still seeing the same ship to address on there. Or city, I should say. So, I can't call them. I tried, but they're not open on Saturday. Go figure. You gotta be kidding me! So anyway, on Monday, I call them. And they said, uh, let's see, the package is still showing the wrong address. So I'm calling customer service back. They said they were in the process of changing it. Monday, I talked to them Wednesday. They're still changing it. Okay. To call back later to confirm it. Which later that day, I did call them back to confirm. And I found out that they had changed the address and that it would take a little bit for it to show up in the system. So now comes December the 12th. I get the package. It shows up at the address I'm wanting it to show up at. So we're good to go there, and all the items in when it, yeah, all the items in it were okay. So January the 28th, here we are on a new day. It's on a Monday. I called them to see how the back order was going on the items that they hadn't shipped yet. And needless to say. I think I had to go through their customer service rigmarole again and I got tired of that and hung up and got a hold of the operator and went back in there. Now I've talked to these people quite a bit and the one person I talked to most of the time was Alex. He was real nice, real helpful. At least he tried to be real helpful. I mean there were things that were probably out of his control so I can't really fault him for that but the whole time I was talking to him on the phone he was great so anyway they said that uh, the black polypropylene tops and bottoms are available but the Blavica isn't they also said that if I wanted the sand color in the Blavica that I could get that but not the black and I politely told them that if I wanted sand, I would have ordered sand and not black. So they said, okay, what we can do is we can go ahead and ship you the tops and bottoms. And when the back-ordered Blavica comes in, we'll ship that to you later. And I asked them, well, is that going to be an extra charge for shipping? No. No extra charge, no nothing. You're good to go. I said, okay, great. That whole conversation took me 17 minutes and 27 seconds. Now, on February the 4th, this call takes me 8 minutes, 8 and a half minutes. I hadn't seen any shipping email yet, so I call them back, get into the customer service, roll around again, finally get frustrated at that and hang up and call the operator. Now that's eight minutes of that. So I call the operator back and she polites, nicely puts me into the customer service on hold again. So I get a hold of them and the tops and bottoms hadn't shipped out yet. They assured me that they would go out this evening. That's February the 4th. Okay, and it was supposed to have gone out, what, January the 28th? And I double-checked the address that it was shipping to just to make sure, and lo and behold, they had the correct address. So, I hang up. Now, February the 4th again, I get a call on my aunt house phone regarding they need some information from me please call them back so I call them back and I talked to him for about three and a half minutes in the meantime my credit card had expired and I was issued a new one 
So the expiration date of the new card and the old card didn't match. So they needed that corrected. So I talked to them, we got that all corrected out and so they could bill me for those items. So we were good to go there. Now, on February the 7th, I got the package with the tops and bottoms in it. I look in the package, the tops are great, but the bottoms are a double XL. They did that? And I had ordered an XL and it's plainly on the ticket. So they said, okay, we apologize for that. We, you know, somebody must have made a mistake. Duh. They want me to go ahead and pack them up, put them in a box, UPS them to them. They gave me an RO order number. And I went ahead and put all the information in there I needed and all that. And they said, they would reimburse me for the shipping on the package. I said, cool. I said, well, in the meantime, what about the bottoms? You know, I can now got to wait on all this to transpire. I said, no. Alex said, no. He says, I'll go ahead and set one to ship out to you this evening. Now that's on the 7th. I said, okay, great. I said, that sounds good. I'll have these in the mail tomorrow on the 8th, which I did. I put them in the mail on the 8th. Now, here it is February the 14th, and I still haven't seen any shipping notice on the bottoms. And I wasn't around my computer at the time, so I did a voice message, a little tape recording message, and I want you to listen to this. Well, I called them today. It's uh, February the 14th to check on my package uh, to see if the pants have shipped yet. This is how bad it's getting. I never said who I was, and the guy answered the phone saying my name. So I've called him that many times that he knows me by name now. And no, it hadn't shipped. He had to check with somebody else, a supervisor, whatever. And yes, they did get my package that I sent them. But they hadn't shipped that out. My bottoms out yet. So they're supposedly going to ship them out tonight. I hope I get a tracking number. And yes, they shipped them to the correct address this time. So... Now that's getting to know a customer service rep and the reps getting to know you. That's bad. That's real bad. So anyway, later on that evening, on the 14th, I receive the shipping notice on the new uh, bottoms. And they're set to arrive on the 19th. Which on the 19th, I did get my new bottoms. And lo and behold, they're the correct size, son of a gun. So that's good. And in the meantime, I've still been kind of touching base with them every now and then, you know, when I talk to them about the Blavica. They still have nothing in stock. Said that I needed to wait a week or more, you know, call them back. March the 5th, I call them back. And I ask them about the Blavica and everything. Now, I don't get Alex this time. I get some other girl. I have no idea who she was. I forgot to write her name down. But let me tell you, she was in the biggest hurry to get off of that phone and do as little as possible to help me she did not want to help I could it's not that she didn't say it I could hear it in her voice the way she was talking and okay yeah real real quick answer yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like oh 
I want to just reach through that phone and strangle that woman. And she said that they didn't have them in stock and she didn't think they were going to have them for a while. She was going to talk to the sales rep and find out about it. And I said, okay, well, talk to him and find out. I'll be right here. So she talks to him and finds out that they're not going to get any more polypropylene blavicas until next winter. What? And I said, you got to be kidding me. I can go out and probably buy one sooner than you guys can get me one. She said, well, you can return the order. Excuse me, return the order? Yeah, you can return the tops and bottoms and everything and all that and we'll refund your money. Oh no, I can't refund. Yeah, I'll refund your money, but you've already paid for this. No, you haven't paid for it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting a headache. This woman is just nuts, has no clue what's going on and has no sympathy either. I said, so I got to pack up the tops, the bottoms, and send them back to you, and then you'll get me a credit, supposedly, for the order, but you say I've already, I haven't paid for it yet, so I can get, and, uh. So finally, what I got her to do, she says, well, I got some silk ones in black. I said, fine, send me the silk one. I don't care. At this point, I am so frustrated and tired with, of these people and having to deal with them. I just had her send it to me and say to hell with it. So, uh, let's see, now on the 8th, I finally get the top. And lo and behold, yeah, I had checked my records and they had already charged me for the tops, the bottoms, and the blavica about a month earlier. So, whatever that girl was talking about was nuts. Anyway, there's my horror story. And you know the name of the company by the title of this video. If anybody out there wants to try and shop with these people, be my guest. Now, I hadn't shopped with them for two years. And after this, I remember why I hadn't shopped with them for two years. Because this has happened before. So, it's not an isolated incident. It's an everyday incident of them not showing you what is not available and what is. And not letting you know in any form or fashion. Until you call them and talk to them. And then you have to fight through their customer service BS. Now here's a recent, uh, what do I call it? Their webpage snapshot that I took that is of the combo that I bought back in December 3rd. And this recent post has nowhere on it that anything is on back order remind you let me remind you that they said they would not get any blavicas in until next fall or next winter so these guys aren't showing you the true story of what's going on on their website and not only that is I went to the blavicas the polypropylene blavicas themselves and pulled up that page and yeah, I can order one and it doesn't show that it's on back order. So you tell me what these knuckleheads are doing. It's crazy. I will not shop there ever again, come hell or high water. Even if you paid me to shop there, I wouldn't do it. All right, that's enough of my ranting bitch. You all take care. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. 
Until then, later.